In this example, I'm running Mininet as well as an open daylight virtual machine in VirtualBox. So I have two virtual machines. Here's ODL and here's Mininet running within VirtualBox. And I've connected to Open Daylight. And at the moment, no devices are showing in the OpenFlow topology in Open Daylight. What I've also done is open up an SSH session to the Mininet VM. And now we can start Mininet pointing to the ODL controller 192.168.165. And we can create a topology of four OpenFlow switches using OpenFlow 1.3 and we'll set the PCs to use simple MAC addresses. So after pressing enter, we can see that the topology has been created. There are the four hosts, here are the four switches, and we can get all the PCs to ping each other by using the ping all command. So host one is able to ping host two, three, and four, and in the same way, the other hosts are able to ping all other devices in the topology. Clicking reload, in ODL allows me to see the OpenFlow topology. So as we can see here, we have four OpenFlow switches and four hosts connected to the topology. So this is the standard open source, open daylight controller running within VirtualBox on my local PC. But what I've also done here is install the Cisco DevNet open daylight OpenFlow app. This is an open source app that's available on GitHub. So go to github.com forward slash Cisco DevNet, open daylight, open flow app. Now Cisco DevNet do have multiple applications available here, but in this case, I've installed the open daylight, open flow app on the controller. Once again, if you go to developercisco.com, that'll take you to the DevNet website and if you go to Browse Networking Open Daylight, you'll be able to get information about Open Daylight from the developer website. So as an example, under Open Daylight at Cisco, you can see that there are various Open Daylight projects at Cisco, and there's quite a long list of projects here, and I won't bore you going through all of them, have a look. But as an example, the Layer 2 Switch application allows you to run a layer two switch on the open daylight controller. So you can see that we are now on open daylight, but the primary contacts are people at cisco.com. So Cisco are contributing code to the ODL project. Once again, open daylight is an open source, open flow controller. In this case, I'm running a later release than what's shown on DevNet. So I'm actually running Beryllium, which is the latest version of controller at the time of this recording. So I've installed the Cisco DevNet application. The instructions are available on GitHub. There are various steps that you need to do to make this work. But what it is, is an application running independently of Open Daylight. And it communicates with the Open Daylight controller using the REST Conf API. So the Open Daylight user interface is available on port 8181, but in this example, I've gone to port 9000, and what you'll notice is we're seeing a similar topology. So here's the topology as seen through ODL with the four PCs, and what I can do is click on Show Host Devices to see the host devices through the Cisco GUI interface. So it's the same topology but just a different representation of it. Notice please the port is 9000. The Open Daylight GUI is on port 8181. This is a separate application to Open Daylight using a northbound interface or northbound API to make calls to the ODL controller, which in turn uses OpenFlow to manage a network of OpenFlow switches. So more information is available once again on GitHub but what I'd like to demonstrate now is some options available in this application. And I'm gonna show you how you can write flows directly through this app. So if you click on a switch as an example, you'll be able to see port statistics of that switch. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger so we can see more information, but I'll be able to see table statistics or 
once again port statistics of a switch. Scrolling down, you can view additional information such as bytes transmitted, packets received, packets transmitted, and so forth. And that kind of information is added to the port statistics of the switch. But what I'm gonna do now is look at flow management. So this is the topology once again, and if I click on flow management, I can see the four OpenFlow switches in the topology. We can see as an example that OpenFlow version 1.3 is being used. So our four switches are OpenFlow 1, 2, 3, and 4. We can see that all of these switches are OpenV switch switches, in other words, mini-net switches. And once again, the negotiated version of OpenFlow is 1.3. The configured flows on each switch are shown over here. Scrolling down, we'd be able to see the flows on the switches. So here's a flow on OpenFlow 2. In other words, OpenFlow switch 2. Here's flows on OpenFlow switch 1. What I'll do is filter the flow information to only view OpenFlow switch 1. So at the moment, there are four flow entries on this switch. 